Once upon a time, all the colors in the world started to quarrel. Each claimed that she was the best, the most important, the most useful, the favorite. Ed could stand it no longer, he shouted out. I'm the ruler of you all, blood lives blood, and the color of danger and bravery. I am willing to fight of a cause, I bring fire in the moon, blood. Without me, the earth would be empty as the moon. I am the color of passion and love, the red rose, poinsettia, and the puppy. Orange started next to blow her own trumpet. The color of health and strength, I may be scarce. But I am precious for I serve the inner needs of human life. I carry all the most important vitamins. Think of carrots, pumpkins, oranges, mangoes, and pow pows. I don't hang around all the time. But when I fed the sky at sunrise or sunset, my beauty is so striking. Things that that no one gives another truth to any of. Hello, Chakal. You are all so serious. I bring laughter, gaiety, and warmth into the world. The sun is yellow. The moon is yellow. The stars are yellow. Every time you look at a sunflower, the whole world starts to smile. Without me, there would be no fun. Green said. Interrupted. You only think about the earth, but consider the sky and the sea. It is water. That is the basis of life, and this is drawn up by the clouds from the blue sea. The sky gives space and peace and serenity. Without my peace, you would all be nothing but busy bodies. Indigo spoke much more quietly than all the others, but just as determinedly. Think of me. You all become superficial. I represent thought and reflection, twilight and deep waters. You need me for balance and contrast, for prayer and inner peace. Purple rose up to his full height. He was very tall and he spoke with great pomp. I am the color of royalty and power. Kings, chiefs and bishops have always chosen me for. I am a sign of authority and wisdom. People do not question me. They listen and obey. And so, the callers went on boasting, each convinced that they were the best. Their quarreling became louder and louder. Suddenly, there was a startling flash of brilliant white lightning. Thunder rolled and bombed. Rain started to pour down relentlessly. The callers all crouched down in fear, drawing close to one another for comfort. Then Rain spoke. You foolish callers! Fighting among yourselves, each trying to dominate the rest. Do you not know that God made you all, each for a special purpose, unique and different? He loves you all. He wants you all. Join hands with one another and come with me. He will stretch you across the sky in a great bow of color. As a reminder that He loves you all, that you can live together in peace, a promise that He is with you. A sign of hope for tomorrow. And so, whenever God has used a good rain to wash the world, He puts the rainbow in the sky. And when we see it, let us remember to appreciate one another.